Hello everyone and welcome back to Meadow Grove. Um, I've started harvesting, as you can clearly see. I've started on paddock 3, which I purchased, and paddock 2. So, we've purchased both of them. I started baling as well, so that paddock's all been baled. This paddock's going to be baled as well. But for now, we just got to get into the harvesting. We've got to finish off this paddock. And then we will continue to bale. Jeremy is on the server with us, so I don't know what he's doing. I think he's going to go and fertilize paddock 17, which is a grass paddock. So that's what he'll be doing. But once we're done this, we might jump in the baler and do some baling for a little bit. And then I kind of want to go and buy the sheep yard. I've got, I've got enough money to buy the sheep yard. So, and then I want to buy maybe four sheep and four cows, something like that. I think would be a good thing to do. Um, so yeah, that's something I really want to do. This sausage silage that I wrapped, I think I wrapped it in the stream, the last stream I did for this. Um, I don't know, for some reason it broke the game. So I had to unwrap all the bales and re-row them up and stuff, so there's a whole heap of silage bales unwrapped and they're getting so much air into them that they're, they're becoming unfermented obviously so that's an issue I don't know what's happened but for some reason the there must be a mod conflict with the Anderson DLC extractor I don't know there's just some issue and it's been a constant issue in multiplayer that we've had as well so won't work on single and won't work on multi for whatever reason but apart from that the farm is going good um, yeah, the farm is doing really good to be honest. We've still got a little bit of money, but we won't probably have very much by the end of this, by the time I buy some cows and some sheep. But, um, you know, you got to spend money to make money, as I was always taught growing up. So, that is exactly what we are going to do. Got a fair bit of oat out of this paddock so far. I'm pretty sure paddock 2 was oat as well, so... Um, got two nice decent sized paddocks of oat anyway, which is good. In the big John Deere. So now we have, we still have the New Holland, we still have the 6M, but I also went and brought the 6R, that'll be just our bigger kind of tractor for, you know, carting just the, some things that are just a little bit bigger and too big for the... 6M and the New Holland. But that's the only reason I purchased the, the 6R. Um, but we're only going to have probably three tractors. I'm hoping for a class DLC or something. Or someone to make a class Orient for a 420 or 430 or something or a 530. And that could be the fourth tractor, but we won't be having any, any more than four tractors on this farm anyway. But that's something hopefully in the future that we can do. But for now, we're just going to get stuck right into harvesting this paddock. So I will have a chat with you once it is completed. Alrighty guys, we're on the last bit here. I don't know if I'm going to worry about that little strip there. I mean, I think this will pretty much fill the harvester. We might get it. We'll have a look to see at the end, I guess. Um, that paddock there on the right, I'm not sure what paddock number that even is. Where are we? Paddock 20. Um, we've still got to put some lime on that. I'm hoping to do that in the next video. We'll put some lime on that one. And we'll fertilise it and possibly plant it. I don't know what we'll plant in there to be honest. I might even let you guys decide if you guys have, have any any suggestions or whatever, you know, go ahead and comment. Let me know what you might like to see in paddock 20, I think I just, is what it was, can't remember. I've already forgotten. Um, but yeah, just let me know and we'll see what we can plant in there. It has to be a crop though that we can harvest with this header because I, I don't have a another header that can do corn or anything like that or sunflowers and I won't really have the money to be able to afford to do that just yet either so keep that in mind 
But um, yeah, definitely have an opinion about Paddock 20. Let me know what you might want to see in there. We'll just empty this into the trailer. It's already a bit in there from a little bit ago. While that's emptying, we might go and grab the ute and if we can get around the indicator light there. This will work out nice. I can bring the ute through this way. The ute should be just here somewhere. Here it is. Then we can just put the header straight on here. Which will be good. If we park... I think if we park here somewhere we should be fine. We'll just turn the engine off because I don't know if we'll move it just yet. We'll close the pipe. We're in reverse, that's why I'm having some issues. There we go. We'll close that. We don't need everything open just yet. We'll chuck the header on the trailer. I actually might just move that out of here to be honest. I think if we drop that there we might be... nope. We want a little bit too much of an angle maybe. Mm, I think that should work. If not, then oh well. We'll leave the harvester here. We'll turn that off. We might just move this out of the way. There's Jeremy over there. We'll just move this over here somewhere. That way it's not in the way when we go to bail. We'll just park it over here somewhere near this other trailer. Just here somewhere should do. That should work. Now, we need the 6M. We'll go ahead and we'll take this trailer down to the silo. We'll get rid of the um, oat that's in the trailer. So we'll do that. And then we'll go and have a look at the sheep yard. Gotta try and, we're gonna make that? No. It was worth a try. It was worth a jolly good old try. That paddock's good, it's got two gateways in there, so that's kind of handy, to be honest. Connect that up. We should be able to go out this gateway here. So we'll just take this down to the silo. Clear that beautifully. Might just have a quick look though to see how much oat is even. Sell them for $1,053. That's actually not too bad. Where's that at? Top hill. Where's that? Top hill. Top hill. I don't even know where top hill is. Animal dealer. That's the pigs. Barn. Dealers. Storage. Dealers, maybe? No, that's the dealership. Top Hill Store is the green one. Must be that one, I guess. I know, we'll put it in a silo. Um, we might see if the price goes up a little bit more, to be honest. I'm not in an urgent hurry to sell it anyway. We've got time. So we can sell that at a later date. It's not too much of a hassle. So that's okay. Doesn't look like there's any cars coming. Oh, 
I think I actually have traffic turned off because I was having some issues trying to get the harvester into that paddock up there. Some issues getting up that little bit of a laneway back there. But that's okay. So we'll dump this, we'll head down to the sheep yard, we'll see how much, I think it's 75 gram which we can afford. So we'll purchase that. If we continue, I think the gates are open down here actually. So if we buy that, and then we can go and get some sheep, we should be good. We have a water trailer, so we should be fine to give them water. We don't have any grass bales, I don't think, so we'll have to mow some grass at a later date and give them some grass, but that's definitely something we can do. We'll just empty this out really quick. Not a bad harvest at all. Might even see how much is in the silo. Lock that into place. We have 31,000 litres of oat, so that's not too bad. The price is still going up as well. I think that's already gone up since we last checked, so we might as well just wait to see if it gets a bit better. Uh, I might just leave that there, to be honest. And we can just head down to the sheep yards. Which is here to the left, I think. I think it's this one here. I believe. Looks like it has a little grass field there. Oh god, I was looking. Not where I was going, that's for sure. So this looks like the place. If we go to the map here, we press X. Okay, so it comes with that little grass paddock for $75,000, which we have 152 So we can afford that. So let's go ahead and purchase that. Try not to stab ourselves on a bale fork there. So we now own the sheep yard, so that's good. Um, we don't own a animal trailer, so we might lease one. We might lease one and put it on the back of the ute, maybe? Sheep aren't that heavy, so we should be able to tow it with the ute. Or we could just do it with the tractor. I mean, it's not that big a deal. We'll go and see at the dealership if they've got a trailer that we can lease really quick. Hopefully they'll have something that we can use. Still having some issues with my steering wheel and joystick, so I'm still using the keyboard at the moment. So hopefully I can get that sorted and... I just prefer turning the tractor and all that with the steering wheel. It's so much smoother instead of all jolty like this and you oversteer and stuff like that. It's very annoying. But we are just going to head up to the shop and get this animal trailer. Hopefully they have one that we can just have for the day. That would be ideal because we don't really need to buy one. We don't really need one for the long term anyway. It looks like we're pulling up here now anyway. We'll go and see if they've got anything for us. Let's have a look. Animals? Or is it animal transport? That's what I want. Alright, this trailer here could do. I think that fits, what? Ten. Yeah, that works for us. $1,224 to rent it for the day. Yeah, we'll do that. That's very ideal. I don't even think the ute would have towed that, to be honest, so... It's probably a good thing we brought the tractor. We'll 
go ahead and get this all connected up. There we go. Now the animal dealer. Animal dealer, sheep plus chickens. Dealer's animal is gonna be here. I think I know where that is, so we'll head down there. No one's coming. Perfect. All right, we'll head down to the animal dealer and I will talk to you guys once we get there. This should be it right there, that building there. So just gonna go ahead and pull into there. Zoom out the camera a little bit. Make sure we clear the sign, we did, perfect. Um, think maybe we should reverse. Let's just check that this is the animal dealer, it is, perfect. I'm thinking we should just reverse in there. I think that'll be a lot easier. So if we should be able to take that off, perfect. Oh, we might leave the cover on actually. I think we'll just leave it on. All right, so this should be where we get the animals. Perfect, it is. So, what do you think? Two black and white, black, brown. I'm thinking two of these and two whites. So what's that, $6,000? And that's four sheep. We might even up this a bit more. We might get a fully black one. We might get a brown sheep. So we'll get, what's that, six? One, two, three, yep. Six for $9,000. I think that'll work. Are they in the trailer? They should be. Yep, they're all in the trailer. So that's six sheep for $9,000. So that's, that's not a too bad a price, to be honest. Pretty happy with that. Are we going to make that? Gonna rub the bush a little bit, but that's okay. We can deal with that. That's a bit of a blind corner with the brick wall there. Alright, so we're gonna head back down to the sheep pasture with these six sheep. Pretty happy with the ones that we just brought. They all looked to be of a quite a higher standard, so they should do us very well, hopefully. Hopefully give us plenty of wool for the years to come. They should also um, reproduce, so hopefully they'll we'll get some some new baby sheep in the future, and hopefully the sheep farm will continue to grow. So that'll be good. Alrighty, we're nearly back at the sheep pasture. I'm just gonna make a left down here. There we go. Just gonna make sure we turn the corners a little wider, just to allow for the trailer. Last thing you want is a trailer getting snagged on a post or something and then spending half an hour just to get it off there. So you want to allow for plenty of room. Now the thing is, where do we, I assume we just go through the gate up here and we can just empty it, I would assume. I'm hoping. That's my assumption anyway. So if we just go here, I'm hoping this is where it happens at. Yes, it is, perfect. So let's move these out. Get out of the trailer. There you go. Go and be free. All right, they look pretty happy and content with their new home, which is what we wanted. Now we just got to get ourselves out of this paddock. Look out, sheep. We don't want to run anybody over. Alright, we definitely don't want the sheep we just brought to get out, so we're going to shut this gate. Let's 
latch it. Perfect. And then we'll go and head down and buy some cows. I believe the cows in, are 2,500. They're not... The sheep were 1,500. I'm pretty sure the cows are 2,500. So, I don't know if we'll get six cows. I think six cows was all we could fit in this trailer anyway, so... We'll head back down to the animal dealer and we'll have a bit of a look. I think it's the best idea. Alrighty, guys. We just got back to the animal dealer now. Just pulling back up right this second. Make sure we clear the sign. Perfect. I think we'll just back in again. That was very easy and straightforward. The way we did it last time. Why would we do it any other way? You know? Are we going to hit that post? I don't think so. I think we're good. I think we are good. Perfect. I'm actually surprised at how well that went, to be honest. Alrighty, so cows. I only want to have Frisian cows, I think, to be honest. So I think we're just going to get the black and white ones. Yeah, they're 2,500, so... What's that, 2, 4... That's six. That's six for 15,000. Yeah, I think we'll just go with six cows. I think that's plenty, to be honest. It's plenty of cows for now. That's a full trailer anyway. We couldn't have fit it anymore. So that'll be perfect. Make sure we clear that. We didn't quite get that turning as good as the last one. Get around there, perfect. Now we should be able to make a right here and then a left and we should be good. Clear that sign, perfect. All right, we're good. So we should be able to just go up this hill and we should be at the dairy. Theoretically. I'm pretty sure this is the way. Yeah, it is, because there's my new grass paddock there on the right. That's my new grass paddock right there. Should get a bit of a yield off that eventually. Taking a bit of our power just to get up here. Yeah, that's those three bales there on the left, they're the only three sausage silage bales that actually made it. The rest of them are over there un, unwrapped. They... They caused the game to crash and everything. I don't know what happened. I just unwrapped... As soon as I unwrapped them and all that, they were fine. Like, they were literally flipping halfway down the paddock and everything. Like, they had lost their fucking brains. I, I honestly don't know what happened. My only guess can be is there's a mod conflict with the sausage silage and a mod. So, I'm not really sure which mod or how to fix it. Maybe we empty the trailer here. This looks like maybe it. Almost hit that gate. Yep, this is where we empty them. So, empty them into there. Perfect. Alright. Go ahead and reverse this up. There's the new Holland. Looks like Jeremy gave everything a wash. What a great guy. What a fucking legend. What do we reckon? Legend, maybe. We won't tell him that though, he'll get a big head. But um... Yeah, so we have, what, six sheep and six cows. So I'm pretty happy with that. But um... We're gonna return this trailer, guys, but that is gonna do it for this episode. I hope you guys are enjoying Meadow Grove just as much as I am. Um... The next episode, like I said, we'll probably do this paddock here, paddock 20. Let me know what you want to plant in there. And I will try and do it for everyone. But, um, yeah, that is going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you all next time.